We're making Sekan Jabin, which is a Persian vinegar syrup that is awesome. The classic version is made with mint and cucumber, and that's the one we're gonna make today. We're gonna add one and a half cups of sugar to one cup of water, and we're going to bring it to a boil over the stove, and we're gonna first stir to dissolve all of the sugar over medium heat, and then we'll bring it to a boil and pop, drop it down to a simmer. I'm giving it a stir here to dissolve all of the sugar. You can use granulated sugar, turbinado sugar. The classic is actually honey, and all three of those work. I've made it with all three before. We're stirring it until it's dissolved because we don't want the sugar to burn in the bottom and separate from the water at all. So just making sure that it gets completely dissolved is important for this one. So as you can see, the sugar is completely dissolved and it has come to a boil. So I'm going to reduce this to a simmer as low as possible for two minutes and then we are going to add our vinegar and simmer it for another minute. Now that our syrup has been simmering for two minutes, I'm going to go ahead and add in my vinegar. I'm using apple cider vinegar. You can also use champagne vinegar. We're going to bring this to a boil. Traditionally, it's actually white vinegar, which is fine to use. I just have found that my preference is the apple cider or the champagne vinegar, and my grandma also uses the apple cider vinegar. So we'll bring this to a boil and simmer this for a minute. Let me set my timer. So we'll simmer this on low for a minute, um, just to get that sort of bite out of the vinegar and leave just like a wonderful sweet and sour syrup instead of having that acidic bite that you get from the vinegar if it isn't simmered in this step. All right, so now that we have our vinegar simple syrup, we are going to add our mint and we're infusing that off the heat. So remove it from the heat. Let's add our 12 to 15 sprigs of mint. And in the class, we steeped it for 30 minutes, which is the minimum. And I'm just gonna grab a spoon to sort of press it down into the liquid. But we steeped it for 30 minutes, which is the minimum that I would recommend to have the mint infusion. But my preference is actually to steep it overnight. So let me show you what it looks like after it's been steeped overnight. This is from the class yesterday. So you have this wonderful glowing uh, vinegar syrup. And I'll show you what we're gonna do with that. We'll grate a cucumber. Uh, it's about a half a Persian cucumber per glass. Ice. And we're gonna add the second javine. And you wanna add it to a ratio of one to four to one to six. So one part of the syrup to four to six parts of water, uh, depending on how sweet you like it. Enjoy it that way. You can also enjoy the second javine as a dip for lettuce on a hot day. So basically, you'll put a small bowl of second javine on a plate, surround it with some romaine lettuce, and it's a wonderful dipping sauce for for the lettuce and you can either use sparkling or flat water make sure to give it a good stir Oops. and i should mention that these are just delicious not just with cucumber but also if you add melon in the bottom mm, it's awesome and also, I'll be posting this recipe on my blog soon with 12 different serving variations, so stay tuned for that too.